Hello and welcome. You can use the Font Builder within BuildBox to create fonts that will be used in your game when you pick up coins, display your total coin amount, display a score, or custom labels. To access the font editor, click this button in the top right corner. And one of the new features that we're really excited about in this version of BuildBox is the ability to use multiple fonts throughout your game. Now over here on the left hand side, you have your font selection. And this is where you can choose fonts for use in your game and add new fonts. So if I add a new font here, I can then choose from any font on my system to use as the basis for this font in my game. So I'll select a font that I like. And you'll notice as I cycle through these different fonts, I get a quick font preview here in the center. Next, I'm going to name my current font settings by changing the name here. Now, this is only for your information. This won't be visible to your end users. It won't show up in your game. So name this something that works for your organization purposes. I like this bolder font, and I think I'd use it for something in my titling. So I'm just going to call this titling font. The font name is the currently selected font in the preview. The font size is the size of the font. The shadow offset allows you to input the X and Y values for the shadow offset. But in order to see that shadow, we have to enable the draw shadow checkbox. So now if we make adjustments to the shadow offset, you can see that updated. The canvas size is the size of the font canvas here. The padding is the spacing between fonts. The stroke width is the number of pixels around the font. So if I increase this and then enable the draw stroke option, You'll see we now have this bolder white line around the font. So I can reduce this back down to something like one. And now we just have this thin white line around the font. The main color is the main color of the font. And if you're using a gradient, it's the topmost color on the font. So you'll see we do have a gradient color selected as well. So our font currently fades from this light gray to this darker gray, as you can see over here in the font preview window. Next, we have our stroke color. You can see that our current stroke in the preview is this white stroke. So we could change this to something else if we wanted. This is going to look awful, but I want to show you what it looks like when we update it. So we could have a different color stroke if we want. We can adjust the color of the shadow if you'd like to have the font shadow be a specific color. And then, of course, we can enable or disable the shadow, stroke, and gradient options. Finally, remember you can add different font styles or delete existing font styles by using the add or delete buttons. Thanks for watching.